With their cute faces and inquisitive nature, many people fall in love with ferrets. Belonging to the weasel family, these domesticated animals are also very smart. Unfortunately, many ferrets like these end up on the streets, abandoned by their owners. There's lots of cat rescues, lots of dog rescues, but there wasn't anything for ferrets. And um, even today, like if you look on Kijiji uh, websites like that, even all across Alberta, there's a lot of ferrets on there. So even today, we are very, it's very necessary for us to be here for these animals. Andrea Camp has volunteered with the Ferret Rescue Society for the past eight years. When she started, there were 30 ferrets in foster homes. Now, there are over 100. People don't always know what they're getting into when buying a ferret. Ferrets need to be entertained, they need to run around, and they can potentially be very expensive. Many older ferrets will develop tumors that require surgery. Surgery can be anywhere between one and two thousand dollars, depending on what else they find when they go in, how long they're in there for surgery. Um, it varies, but I've paid up to seventeen hundred for a surgery myself. Andrea now looks after six ferrets. She's used to all their antics something potential ferret owners should consider. They will get into everything and anything that they can possibly figure out how to get into. They're also very, very smart. Um, so in a lot of times the trouble they'll get into is when they're bored. So because of their, their brain ability, it's, it's very, <laughs> very much a challenge to keep them occupied. Although a handful, Andrea loves these little guys. Ferrets honestly make great pets for the right people. They're very curious, they're very fun, um, they definitely have very different personalities. Um, you won't, you'll never find um, two ferrets with the same personality. Hey, what are you doing in here? As you can see, these guys are curious and you have to keep your eye on them, <laughs> but they do make great pets. Before you go and get yourself a ferret though, make sure you do your research. You can find out more at ferrets.ca. For Shaw TV, I'm Sheila Nyquist.